better get moving. Your citizen credit system account has been flagged for social non-compliance. You have failed to attend your scheduled citizenship training. An intervention warrant has been placed on your CCS ID. Please return to your place of residence and await the authorities. Thank you for your cooperation. Shit. They'll be heading there now. I gotta scrap my computer.
objective. Reach your apartment before the police. Don't get caught. Objective. Reach your apartment before the police. Don't get caught. on the ground. Now, maggot! Hello again, Mr. Edwards. Coffee? You look like you could use a pick-me-up. Something to bring you back to the world of the living? After all, that's why we're here. To help. To protect the fabric of society. But loose threads can quickly cause a tear, Mr. Edwards. Loose threads like jaywalking, or riding the train without a ticket, say? Minor infractions. Victimless crimes, you may say. But crimes nonetheless. <sighs> and what about you? No posts on social media. No photos. No girlfriend or boyfriend. No friends at all. Does that seem normal to you, Mr. Edwards? 
then there's all that cash you've squirreled away. Did no one tell you about contactless payment? Or does the data trail concern you? Strange, Mr. Edwards. Some might say you were trying to hide something. I fix computers. My clients pay cash. It's none of your goddamn business what I do with it. Careful, Mr. Edwards. You're forgetting where you are. It's our job to keep people safe. And to do that, we have to lift up the rug and make sure nothing's been swept underneath. So, how about you save us all some time and tell us what the encrypted data is for? I thought protecting my client's data was a good thing. Listen here, punk. You don't realize how good you have it. The world out there was made by honest, hardworking people. The kind of people who follow rules, have barbecues, take photos, live happy, productive lives. And then there's people like you, troublemakers, malcontents, cancerous growths that metastasize and rot society from within. Lucky for you, Mr. Edwards, we're releasing you, but you're on borrowed time. Step out of line again, and I'll make sure I personally get to bring you in. Motherfuckers. Where the hell did they drop me? Barry Edwards, get it now. You and me gotta talk. you think this is track and field? Get in. You stay here, you die. You understand? Sorry it had to go down like that. You'll thank me later. No more funny shit though, you hear? Saved your ass, Barry Edwards. Or should I say, Duke Stroud? What? <laughs> that was some cool shit you pulled, ghost in your CCS ID. Okay. This is about my old man, isn't it? Oh, for f if you're looking for a ransom, forget it, man. The only person that old fuck cares about is himself. Look like some chicken shit kidnapper to you? You really think you walked out of that police station on your own? Whoa, 
won't be long before they break that weak ass algorithm you use. Then you're gonna be public enemy number one. The hell did I do? It's not my fault my old man's a power hungry asshole. Man, you ain't getting it. There's bigger shit at play. with some eggheads. Took some doing though, huh? Those ain't your run-of-the-mill security systems. Except you didn't cover your tracks. Now the cops are gonna be so far up your ass, you'll start oinking. Lucky for you, rookie. Me and my associates are willing to take you under our wing. Wait, don't tell me you're with them. What was it, the Freedomers or some crap? Liberated, and you're welcome. In case you ain't noticed, there's a camera on every corner and a tracker in every terminal. Oh, give me a break. Evil corporation, this tech enslavement, that. What's next? Chemtrails? <laughs> Go ahead, man. Laugh it up. Didn't see you laughing when the police bust into your place, though. <laughs> What was it for this time? Not smiling nice enough for the cameras? Not enough credit card purchases? Not wanting to be watched all the damn time? You got a decision to make, man. What kind of world do you want to live in? One where the system chooses who's free, or one where the free choose the system? Fuck this sense seekers. Goddamn police drones. Keep your shit together. We got this, okay? There's a gun in the glove compartment. Cover me. Objective, destroy the drones. We're here. 
What is this place? Used to be a Project Manhattan facility. Don't worry. We put up the radioactive sign so no one comes snooping around. You can call it home for now. Small talk later. Come meet the team. This is Rick, bona fide will hunting. Just watch out for his ego. In a previous life, he helped create the CCS. <laughs> helped. I damn near built the thing single handed. Then the government went ahead and turned it into a dystopian nightmare. The man in the glasses is Tom, Reverend Tom. He was a teacher at St. Martha's when the bombing happened. Now he's with us. <sighs> I'm glad you're safe, young man. I wish it hadn't come to this. You already know his brother Tim, former special ops and the best driver we've got. James here is our mole in the police department and your guardian angel. He managed to buy you some time before you were ID'd. You're lucky to be alive, kid. All hell broke loose when they found out who you really are. was. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not the son of that sadistic dirtbag who calls himself the Minister of National Security. No arguments here. We've all got things we'd rather leave in the past. Ah, almost forgot. I'm Meg. I run things around here. So this is it? You're the Liberated? <laughs> no. This is just one of many teams. Once we know you can be trusted, we'll meet the others. Welcome aboard, Barry. Time to earn your keep. Briefing time, quickly. We're behind schedule. The other teams are already on the move. Our target is the Alpha 16 CCS data center located in the Silver River National Security Campus. Security should be minimal, mostly drones and robots as well as a few guards and facility staff. We can enter the data center via the basement or the ground floor. Both give us access to the pumping station that provides water to the facility's central cooling system. The second floor contains the facility's electrical infrastructure and control room. Our target is the servers on the top floor. Keep it simple, ladies. We go in, plant the charges, and blow this thing straight to hell. We'll trigger an alarm 15 minutes before the explosion. That should give any civilians time to evacuate. No collateral damage. We're the good guys, remember? We're expected to sync up with the hits the other teams are carrying out. That's the only way to stop any backups from kicking in. That means no fuck-ups. Are we clear? Me, James, and Tim will enter the building via the front entrance. Tim has the security passes. Rick, keep the car within radio range and take the newbie with you. Maybe you'll learn something. 
Listen to Rick, people. He designed the security system. Follow his lead and this will all go smoothly. Barry, stay in the car and keep a lookout. No hero shit. Right, let's do this. How's life on the lamb? <laughs> Enjoying Rambo's training? Everything's... It's a lot to unpack. I'm still processing. And Tim's not fucking around though, is he? Better here than out there though, right? Not like we've got much choice or hope of winning this war either. Why are you fighting it then? <laughs> Maybe I'm a sucker for lost causes. Tim, Tom, even Meg. They believe in this idealistic bullshit. I'm not buying it. For me, it's about cold, hard facts. And the fact is, I created a monster. You know, the CCS was originally just a modified credit rating. Income, spending patterns, criminal records, you get the picture. But that's simple stuff. It doesn't tell you the full story of a person's behavior. It won't tell you if they're really a risk or not. That's why we made Themis, an algorithm that can track a person's entire digital life. All it was meant to do is say if someone's trustworthy or not. But then people like your dad wanted to use it to build a better world. And I believe them. I watched as they manipulated Themis to tip the scales a little, then a lot. It wasn't until the cops came for me that I realized what I'd done. This isn't our world anymore, Barry. And unless our glorious leaders grow some balls to take down Themis, there's no hope of us getting it back. It looks like someone finally ran a security update. One sec. Just gotta do the hacking thing. Damn it, no dice. We need to do this the old-fashioned way. You're up, Barry. I need you to get to the second floor and bypass the security system. Take a gun and hurry. I'll be in your ear the whole time.
others.
activated. The error on your phone is not a glitch. Last night, the CCS network that brings unchecked over our lives was purged of all personal data. A new day has dawned, and with it, the opportunity for a new beginning. Yes, the war, not even close. Most people will go on with their lives like nothing happened, back to taking selfies and posting pictures of their food. This will be nothing more than a blip to them. Sad to say, but we were never going to get through to those people. They can't even begin to imagine life outside the system. And even if somewhere down the line it comes back to bite them in the ass, a bad word about their boss here, a complaint about a late train there, they'll still think it's all their fault. Society's locked in some kind of mass Stockholm Syndrome. What was this all for, then? To reach the people who want to change. To show them that they aren't alone. To give them hope the world can be a better place. If we don't, Every day we'll claim more lost souls, more people will succumb to the illusion, and their faith will die out. We must be the light at the end of the tunnel. Only then 
will we convince others to follow? Now, more than ever, I'm convinced the key is St. Martha's. That day, what scared me most wasn't losing the people I cared for. It was the lies, the harassment, the cover-up. Those children, may God watch over them, deserved better. Their parents deserved the truth, closure. They couldn't, wouldn't believe what they were being told. So they started digging. That was when people started to vanish, to move away, to have their darkest secrets leaked onto the web for the vultures to pick through. You know, I remember a time when people could protest peacefully. Now we're forced to resort to violence and underhand tricks to demand answers. Sadly, there's no other way. Only revealing the truth will give the lie to the government's web of deceit. I pray that day comes sooner rather than later. Amen, Father. Guys, there's one more thing we have to do while the system's down. Tim, let's go. You too, Barry. I could use you out there. <laughs> 